Like most American businesses, our business was born out of need. We have 60,000 cars going up and down this road every day, and up to 20,000 of them go by when it's dark out. We need to light our sign. When we decided we had to light the sign on our road, I got some pretty crazy quotes. First of all, the electrician wanted to charge over $4,000 just to bring the power out here from our building, not including the damage we do to our sprinkler systems and the arrangements we had to make to go out through the easement to get to our sign. First, let's go over what's in the kit. This is the kit that you're gonna receive from us. It includes for a four by eight sign, which is what we're doing today, two 10 watt LED super efficient light bulbs, floodlights, a control box to house all the electronics in the battery. You've got 20 feet of wire, no timer, and your charge control includes a 30 watt solar panel, the mounting bracket and the mounting hardware, and the mounting brackets for the lights. Let's go over some tools you're gonna to need. There's some additional items that you're gonna to need to purchase locally. One for sure is a large deep cycle marine battery. Uh, the marine batteries are best because it allows for a, a complete discharge without harming the battery. Additionally, I wanted to mount my solar panel up real high, so I bought some extra wire. You need screws for mounting everything into your particular sign, and I've got some seal tight connectors and some wire nuts for making connections. Additionally, I cut two short pieces of wood to set the battery up so when the wires go through the bottom of the box, there's no interference. I'm using the biggest battery that this box will take, that's why I need that. Here are some pretty standard tools. Let's go over them quickly. We need to get a level to make sure everything's working good. Tape measure, battery operated drills, Phillips bit and some drill bits for drilling through items, screwdriver and wire strippers. First thing to do is our planning. Now I've marked the center of these signs and drawn some lines to represent where we're going to mount our light supports. Making sure they're level for a good professional installation. Now we're gonna mark the light supports for the top of the sign. We're gonna pre-drill the holes to make it easier to mount. I'm gonna use these decking screws. They're very durable and weather resistant. Because I'm using these, I've got this size drill bit. Your drill bit is gonna be necessary to match to the type of mounting that you're gonna use. This is the key to what makes this kit so special. This is a super high efficient floodlight powered by 12 volt DC LED light bulbs. We're gonna mount this to each side of the post in preparation for mounting the post to the sign. Next, I'm gonna drill the holes that match up with the holes of the light that you have. We've used two butt connectors to splice the wire so we can run it through the tubing here. Now we're gonna take a piece of electrical tape with a little bit of pull on it to seal that up. So when we pull it into the support, it doesn't pull the butt connectors apart. Quick wrap and we're ready to go. Okay, now we're gonna show you how to install any size solar panels to the included bracket. First of all, you're gonna drill a hole in the top of the bracket. Then I'm gonna bolt it to the solar panel because I wanna make sure when I drill the second one, it's perfect. I put the nut on the inside of the channel and the bolt goes through the back. This gives the ability to get it on there without having to twist that bolt through it. I'm gonna snug it up but not tighten it up. And now I'm gonna go down to this side. Using a marker, I'm gonna match up where I need to drill this hole. I have this piece of wood in here to protect the solar panel because I want to go through with this drill and just clean up the hole to make sure everything matches. 
Again, the bolt goes to the outside and through the frame. Tighten it up. Hey, and I did this all in one take. Now I'm drilling the holes to mount it to the post. Your hole size will de be dependent on what size bolt you use. Another call we get, it's very hard to see where the positive and negative are imprinted into the plastic here. Uh, but you can see this, there's a positive there and a negative there. Respect polarity when you're wiring it up. Bring the wire in, crimp it down so it doesn't move, and secure the wires underneath the terminals. Okay, now we're to the control box. I'm going to mount the DIN rail, which will give us the mounting for all of our controls. Using this provided self-drilling screws. One. And two. Now we want to drill some holes in the box, so we're going to, to mount the box to our wood post. I'm going to use a 3 16th inch bit, but you're going to use what corresponds to the mounting hardware that you provide. Okay, we're about ready to mount everything. All right. With everything prepared, now it's time to mount the components. Quick check for square to make sure we're doing a professional job. It's not going anywhere. We've also installed these watertight connectors for the wires to keep bugs from getting into it. Let's go and install the uh, light brackets now. First I'm going to feed the screws to the right bra light bracket just to make sure we're not damaging that wire. We've already got the markings on here, so it's just a matter of holding it up and driving in the screws. All right, we got about two hours into this project, and I've saved $6,500. I've got a great sign that's going to be lit up all night long, and I've got more customers coming to my door. With all the money I saved, I think I'm going to go buy that outdoor kitchen I've always wanted. You have a great day, and we'll see you later.